Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You already know what it is. It is Marshayla Monique. And I'm here again today. Um, we're gonna do a updated Q&A. Updated Q&A because I hit a thousand subscribers. I am so excited. I'm literally at 1,050. Like, it just keeps going, going, going. Y'all are running the score up. So since there are a whole bunch of new supporters on the channel, I just wanted to do an updated Q&A so that y'all can get to know a little bit about me. And hopefully y'all stay for a while. Um, keep the fit today. Y'all know I'm always on chill vibes. I never, like... So before I record, I kind of prepare myself. Like, I put on a little bit of, like, lip stuff and, like move my hair around a little bit but like my channel stands on like complete or like super organic super authentic and very transparent i'm not getting on here and putting on anything special so I mean, like sometimes i come on here and i look nice if i'm in a vlog or whatever but like i want y'all to realize that like with content creation and with all of these other creators the ones that sit there and like beat their face with makeup and just do all this extra shit like honestly some of it is just like very unrealistic and i just want my channel to be super realistic i want it to be comfortable like we're talking like we're in the same room like all the extra stuff girl it's not for me by all means if you want to do that go ahead but that's not my thing that's not tea for me i am good always chill vibes got that big tea on i think this is this is whitney houston on my shirt i thought it was selena because whitney houston is not is it whitney houston whitney houston is not this light girl anyway forever 21 get it together anyways let's jump right into um the question and answer before i even hop into that i just wanted to give a quick shout out to chastity martinez uh, i hope i said that right shout out to you girl you sent me a message um thinking that i wasn't gonna follow you back but y'all follow me on instagram like i am going to follow you back she is super cool she's new to the channel she um found my apartment tips video um my biggest video right now eleven thousand views um but shout out to you i'm glad that i was able to help you it was nice to have a quick little conversation with you and also thank you for giving me a new video idea for next week so i'm gonna give you another shout out whenever i record next week so shout out to you girl without further ado let's hop right into the questions because y'all know your girl like to talk so let's just get all the background information out of the way um i'm 25 years old um i live in pittsburgh pa I graduated college in December 2020. I graduated college with a degree in criminal justice, um, relationship status, confused. Um, what else? Did I say I was 25? Yeah, I said I was 25. I'm a Scorpio. My birthday is November 1st, 1996. I have six siblings. Yeah, we can count that. I got six siblings. Um, I'm the first girl. My favorite color is baby blue. My favorite artist is Chris Brown. Um, I'm five foot three, about 125 pounds, maybe more, maybe less. Um, yeah, I wear a size small. If y'all want to like see me clothes. Um, what else? I live by myself. What else? I think that's about all of the basic stuff. If there's any other basic stuff that I missed, just like let me know. But that's the basics, honestly. Okay, there were a lot of questions, and y'all get on my nerves, honestly. Like, you know who you are. Like, y'all really get on my nerves. So, first things first. Question number one. I'm not gonna call, I'm not gonna do numbers. I'm just not gonna do that. So, what am I currently watching? Um, I'm currently watching Insecure. I need to like rewind it a little bit because I get so distracted when I watch shows. Um, I just finished Euphoria and I might start that again, but I was tapped in with Euphoria for a very long time. But now I'm starting Insecure because a lot of people talk about it and like I see a lot of people talk about it on like um podcasts and stuff like that. So I'm watching that. Um, it's it's good. It just needs to keep my attention a little bit more, but it's, it's hard for me to pay attention. Um, if y'all have any show suggestions or whatever y'all are watching, definitely drop it down below. I'm like a hopeless romantic kind of drama type of girl. So if you know any good shows in that realm, let me know. My current favorite song. Uh, that's tough because I love music. I think my current favorite song, like what do I got on like replay that like I type in? Okay, so I got two. I got two and they're both by her. The first one is Damage. And you won't take me for 
pomegranates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then find a way by her and little baby. I'm just trying to find a way. I know the words but those are my two favorite songs right now those are on replay and it's crazy how i don't know the words like those are my favorite songs i swear okay next um last movie i watched like fully watched was fully watched fully watched someone great that's like my favorite movie if y'all never seen someone great on netflix please watch it it's such a good movie if you like like love stories that's like very realistic um and not like a fairy tale type of love story like that is a very good movie so definitely tap into that um i've watched that movie probably about like 15 times at this point i know like every single word um yeah because i don't have a life <laughs> next what made me start youtube so i'm pretty sure i've said this before but i've always wanted to do youtube ever since i was younger um, my personality is very vib vibrant as y'all obviously know but it's just been a childhood goal with me like i used to of mine i used to watch youtube all the time as soon as i could get on the computer like i used to watch like morning routines and night routines by um um tila someone i used to watch ttyl tila um jenna marbles talia um who else did i used to watch i used to look at like piercing videos and i just like like the lifestyle type of thing but i just couldn't I didn't have the materials and the tools to do so and I was also a little bit shy back in the day which is like crazy um but yeah I remember doing that um well having those thoughts when I was probably like mm, between 10 and 13 years old and then once the pandemic once the pandemic not finally hit once the pandemic hit and I had the tools to do so I was like girl you might as well it's now or never there were so many times where I made like intros and just like didn't go through with it like I had like intros from like 2016 to 2018 and I just never moved forward with it like I was like I'm gonna start I'm gonna start I'm gonna start and then in my previous relationship we wanted to be like a couple channel but like that didn't work out either so i just like threw myself to the wolves and like it's been the best thing ever like literally all this doing this makes me so happy before i even came onto the camera i was kind of like in a uh type of mood but as soon as i pulled out the camera and i see myself and i was in my zone like my whole mood changed like i just love doing this girl regardless of where this takes me i just love doing this girl all right do I want to be famous? I don't want to be famous. I want to be influential, if that's a good word to use. I don't want to be like famous where like people like, oh my God, like, ah, oh, where's she mm, That type of stuff. Like, I just want to be like, I guess the word is, I just want to be an influ influencer. If you consider that famous, then so be it. But to me, I just want to have an impact on people's lives. Um, in a, always in a positive way. But like, I don't want people to, treat me as if i'm like beyonce or something i don't want to be like that type of like famous per se it just sounds so weird to say i don't i don't know <laughs> what's your type um i don't really have like a specific type if you can make me laugh no nah, i'm not gonna say because somebody would try to laugh their way in my drawers um <laughs> but like i just like uh somebody who is like super free spirited um has a great personality which is like super cliche but like personality really matters to me um i like people that are able to hold conversations like an intellectual conversation and isn't closed-minded i like someone who's my, like your mind has to be like very broad because my mind is like honestly insane per like my mind is insane the way that i think and the concepts that i come up with and the scenarios that run through my head like i just like to have fun with it um i just really like a fun person um down to earth caring those type of regular things as far as physical appearance i can't really say that i'm like attracted to one specific type of person um that also varies so yeah I, if i think you're attractive i think you're attractive i'm not like oh I like like light skin dudes like that too da, 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 those type of things nah, i'm not even like that so whatever um next what does your ideal partner look like i guess that's like the same question really just somebody who i can vibe with um kind of like my best friend and i want the relationship to stay the same as it did like during the chase of us like getting to know each other and like really trying to um the chase like you know how it is like the cupcake phase or whatever like i want it to stay like that like i want it to stay um fruitful per se um i want it to stay like um healthy and those things so yeah my ideal partner knows how to communicate and is very mature and can get through things with me um and together um which is a rare commodity <laughs> like um what states have you been to 
Um, I've been to Ohio. I've been to South Carolina. I've been to South Carolina, Virginia, um, DC. I've been to Florida, Miami. I've been to New York, and I've been to. What else have I been? I've been one more place. Um, I think that's it. Other than like airports, like Chicago. But yeah, basic places really. I think I think there's another place, but I can't think of it. I don't know. But those are the places that I've been to. Definitely want to travel way more. Um, currently already have a trip planned for Atlanta next month, so I'm excited for that. So y'all know y'all are getting a vlog. Um, so yeah, I just I also want to go out the country. Like I really need to stop dragging my feet and get my passport. But I mean, I have like the passport application. It's just I'm just lazy, pretty much. <laughs> I'll be honest. Favorite alcoholic drink? Um, Crown. I tried to drink tequila for about a week or so and I was like, no, my heart lies within the Crown Royal. Um, that's one of my biggest videos on TikTok right now, the Crown Royal, Crown Royal video. Might as well call me the Crown Royal girl. Um, but yeah, usually when I go to the bar, I'll get like a Crown and Cranberry or I'll just get like a double, like a, a shot of Crown straight up with like um, a ripple on the side. But anything that got crowned in it, girl, hand it over, hand it over, period. Um, next up, this is messy, but what happened with you and Carly? Um, um, you don't know who that is. That's my old best friend who I have the matching tattoo with. Um, what happened to it? we couldn't see eye to eye maybe or communication was off i can't really like put it into words i kind of explained it explained it in another video which i'll probably tag right here um but we just outgrew each other out we outgrew each other we outgrew each other that's all i'll say no hard feelings always met love i'm super content with the situation i don't want the friendship back um so there's not really anything to it i'm not a messy person or trying to start drama that's not even my body but yeah, uh, that's it, I guess. <laughs> dream vacation. Dream vacation would definitely be out of the country in Bali in the middle of the jungle in a glass house surrounded by water um, with someone that I really love. It would be beautiful. Ugh, I hope that I could like experience that one day. I really do. Just like the world is so beautiful. It's just I hate that y'all are here. So I know I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We make the planet ugly, basically. But like the world is so beautiful there's so much to see and explore and like i just can't wait till i have the means to do so just like get up and go and just live Ugh. the world is beautiful man i can't even do you make money from youtube if so how i currently do not make money from youtube um i will soon once i meet the rest of the criteria but the way it works um so whenever you create your channel um in order to be monetized monetization means that you get paid for your videos through adsense if i'm not mistaken um, so you have to meet the criteria of a thousand subscribers and then you also have to meet the criteria of 4,000 watch hours um, And then you have to have like not any flags on your account or anything But YouTube lets you know whenever you're eligible to apply um, And everyone automatically gets approved. It kind of just like takes a process for everyone if I'm not mistaken I don't know too much um, But yeah, and I think you have to meet a cap every month of hundred dollars if you don't meet the hundred dollars and you can't cash out um, So there's that uh, eventually I will um i'm already i have like 900 more watch hours which is, that'll fly by because i make long videos anyway so that's coming soon and i can't wait to make this my second income it just makes it so much more better even though i already love what i do for the free um, do you work outside of youtube if so what do you do i do work outside of youtube i have a nine to five i work tuesday through saturday i work at a finance company that i can't really tell y'all too much about but it is a small starter up company um the CEO of my company used to own PayPal. We're very small. We're based out of California. And it's probably hands down one of the best jobs that I've ever had. Honestly, I never met a company that cares so much about me. They literally just, they send me stuff all the time. But they sent me my, um, my supervisor literally just sent me this. So we're doing like, oh, whoops. we're doing a team meeting this week. So we get to like, we're going to be like on Zoom, like, playing games i guess and like digging in our box <laughs> but yeah hands down hands down one of the best companies like 
y'all know how it is working for a company that really doesn't care y'all know how it is working for a company that really does not care about you like this company cares about you down to giving you mental health days off like if you just wake up and you're just not feeling it and you feel like you just like can't put your first can't put your best foot forward at work like girl stay home wake up feeling anxious girl stay home wake up and you're sad girl stay home i mean we work from home but stay home get off the computer basically so yeah best job ever and i'm so thankful and i'm so blessed to have like have this job seriously where do you see yourself in five years um in five years i will be 30 <laughs> i'll be 30 um i will hopefully be in a stable healthy relationship i may have one kid maybe two um definitely not living in pittsburgh I will be fully creating content as my full-time job. Um, probably have a side business. I'll have Oh Honey up and running. Um, and I really just hope that I'm happy. And I hope that I am not content at where I am, but like just in a happy space where I wake up every morning and I'm like happy with what I am doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't ever want to be... I don't want to be like comfortable because there's always more to do and there's all, always much more growing to do but i just want to be happy and you know around good people and yeah hopefully i have kids and day hopefully i have like a kid or something <laughs> you know like the kids so, yeah. <laughs> what is your definition of success um i really don't know my definition of success is i think it would be like for me i can't really say because i feel like i'm always going to peak over and over again so it's like when i get to that point where i feel like i'm successful there's always more to do there's always going to be a valley into another peak of another form of success if that makes sense but i just feel like i really i don't know i don't know if that's like a good explanation but like i really don't know it's just like because i'm going to peak over and over and over again i just i don't know day that is a deep question that i cannot answer i tried oh my god i'm sorry i can't answer that <laughs> someone said omg you're a scorpio yeah she a scorpio i can't answer yeah i'm a scorpio i don't really know what it means because they put like eyes they put like eyes and hard eyes like i don't know what you're saying sir <laughs> next up can you fight i heard they were beating your ass up slip girl stop stop seriously like because i'll beat you up that's the crazy part about it can can my son guest star what i think she's saying can her son be a guest on the show i mean on youtube of course he can you miss me no girl i'm not i'm not reading that out loud when when you shoplift next time make a video so your followers know you're a goat y'all honestly this is funny because i do have a story for y'all that i will tell when i'm not embarrassed about it but like <laughs> yes i i used to steal <laughs> i'm gonna tell y'all one day girl but right now because mm -mm, i don't really know i don't i don't know girl i wasn't like a boost or anything like that but like i was in college and i was struggling girl like what y'all know how it go why would she say that so annoying all right, what we got next up? Will you ever have kids? Yes, and it's crazy because I used to be like, no, no, no. But then when I see how much my niece and my nephew like love me and how they love their parents, like my brother and their mom, like I want to feel that, you know what I'm saying? Like And like just seeing something that you created and they look like you and like it's just your creation. I just think it's a beautiful thing and it's even more beautiful when you get to share it with someone that you really love and y'all both just got mad love for this kid. Um, or this child like you know, so hopefully I get to experience that one day, but we'll see I it's so weird because I used to be like girl forget them kids But as I get older, I'm like I need to leave a legacy like I'm doing all these great things Like who am I going to leave it behind for? Who am I going to start a college fund for? My niece and my nephew girl? No, it's like no, but maybe <laughs> How old were you when you lost your V card? Um, yeah, I probably won't believe this but like technically I was 19 and by technically there's another story but like technically i was 19 when i lost my virginity um honestly i can't even tell you like how it was i really i truly do not remember them mm. i don't know why i don't remember but i don't like i wasn't like drunk or anything but like i just don't remember the moment like it wasn't like 
anything memorable. Not that it wasn't memorable. I don't, I don't, I just don't remember, okay? Like, stop, you're testing me out. Short or tall dudes? Um, as long as you're taller than me, I'm really not pressed. Like, I'm not, I'm not pressed. I mean, if you're like 5'2", five, 5'3", five, and like, kick rocks. But like, if you're taller than me, cool, whatever. Do you believe in karma? I do. I definitely do. And I believe in what goes around comes around. So watch what you say and be careful with that tongue. Um, advice for a teenage girl. Girl, I hate being a teenager. Um, it'll be over soon. Um, don't date drug dealers. Um, don't believe that man that's 26 years old still living in his mom's basement. Um, don't believe anything that he say. Um, have fun. Go out. Party. Don't be too sneaky, but sneak around a little bit. Um, prepare yourself for the real world because there's no game out here. But, like, enjoy every single moment. It is a new world, a new generation with, like, everything in the world and stuff like that. So, it's, like, probably difficult for y'all to like socialize and stuff because of the pandemic um but i would say girl just have fun um be safe be careful don't handle kids um if you want to go to college go to college if you don't want to go to college don't go to college um don't feel pressed to do anything that your family wants you to do do what you want to do um and that's really just that on that um advice for a new creator i did make a video on this um content creator tips but my biggest advice is to stay true to yourself um, trust the process number one don't pay attention to the numbers and just be you like there are so many people who are afraid to start something because everyone else is doing it girl there's always going to be a million hairstylists there's always going to be a million barbers there's going to be a million doctors there's going to be a million content creators but everybody has one little thing that is different about them what's different about me is I come on here and I keep it real and I keep it wrong feel me I'm not trying to be like nobody else I'm just being me so i feel like with creation you should stand on that you can be inspired by other people don't try to copy people but just be you because regardless if this is meant for you you're going to stand out above all of these other people because you are different and you are you so stay true to yourself um last time you cried last night <laughs> i was listening to cash page and like the cash page album the park car combos like it hits different for me you ain't gotta tell nobody because this album dropped in 2020 pandemic vibe i think it was actually it dropped in 2019 either 2019 or 2020 pandemic vibes like my self-care journey and getting to know myself and it was spending that intimate time with myself and her album which is there for me and it was also there for my sister and um her friend as well like we really just used to vibe to cash page and like the lyrics just like hit for me every time no matter how many times i listen to that parkour combos um album every time it's gonna hit but last night like it hit different like because i got some other stuff going on in life and it's just like um changes happening in my life and stuff like that but like y'all that album is different definitely tap in you might not like it straight off the straight off the bat but it is a very good album she is very freaking talented so yeah that's like when i cried last night <laughs> All right, well, that is all of the questions that I did get. Is there, if there is anything else that y'all want to know about me, drop it in the comments. Send me a message, whatever, girl. I am not shy. Ask me whatever you want. I'll tell you. Like, ask me whatever you want. Um, so, yeah. Also, just wanted to show y'all really quick that I got this new little journal from um, Barnes & Noble yesterday while I was waiting for my order from Panera. Like, I just went in there. It's called the... Re I think it's... I think the brand is breathe but it's called the thrive journal and y'all it is a beautiful journal so far and it has like prompts throughout it and then it also ha like explains different things like breathe out of fear and then it has um the meal deal like everything like has this completely different definition based off of like guilty conscience like things like that and then it just like deep dives into um that process that you go through within yourself and how to get through it and i love journals so much and i'm always buying journals and books and stuff like that but like i'm really going to tap into this one um so yeah i'm excited and i just wanted to tell y'all like girl anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here um i love y'all thank y'all so much for everything um shout out to you again chastity i really appreciate the message and just you being excited to just like for me to follow you was just like a euphoric like um full circle moment for me like i don't know it's cr like it's crazy <laughs> like, i don't know 
Um, but I appreciate y'all and thank y'all for always coming back and always just showing up for me because I'm always showing up for y'all, period. So you already know what it is and you already know what it ain't and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye! I'm